In this video, we're checking out our local smallmouth bass spring progressions. Now that was on plastic, and that tells you how high to bring your rod tip and how fast you need to retrieve it. It's the second week in May, and my dad and I are curious about the bass progression on our local water. This morning, we're going in search of spring smallmouth bass on the Madison chain. I was expecting a little more cloud cover today. Yeah, they were saying there was going to be. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I slowed it down a little bit. Feels like a good one. Oh, yeah. Looks like a good Ooh, this is a big one. Get that net up here. Oh. Nice one. Ooh, this That's is a, a big chunky. One. What's that? Chunky small. Is that smally? Yeah. Oh. Oh yeah. Do that one. <laughs> That's a beauty. We'll take those all day long. You can get four and five pound fish. Now that one's on plastic. Started out throwing a little more aggressive because a couple days ago they were more aggressive. Today it was just a sinko, was all it was right now. Beautiful fish. Gone. When you're throwing these plastics, you, like I've had a tendency to work them too long in an area. Yeah. You move you move around pretty quick with them. I, I, I fish at about 10 feet. If they want it, they're going to have it by then, you know, if there's any fish in the area yeah. that are active. Then I'm moving to the next next cast. As far as fishing all the way to the boat, I don't. Usually, they nine times out of 10, they'll have it that first 10 feet. And a lot of times, I don't even fish it that far. If the fish are real aggressive and they're showing me that they're real aggressive, I'll fish at five feet. And they aren't on it, I'm throwing to the next you know, I'm trying to cover water better. Sure. More effectively with the plastic. You're just not working it all the way back to the boat. I, I fish I fish a plastic a lot slower than most people do. You know, I leave it lay a long time. A lot of times those fish will lay there and, and I've just observed them and they'll lay there and watch it and watch it and watch it and watch it. And finally something, you know, you maybe you move it a little bit, you don't even realize you do, but you move it a little bit and all of a sudden it's like, boom, he's on it, you know. But I've watched them, had them swim up to it in clear water, and you could see them. And they'd lay there, and they'd tip up like they're going to hit it, lay there and lay there and lay there, and I'd just leave it lay. I mean, sometimes for 30 seconds to a minute or more. Yeah. And all of a sudden, you just twitch it a little bit, and it's like, boom, man, they nail it. They're afraid it's going to get away. Yep. There we go. <laughs> swim bait. Oh, it's a pike, I think. You know, you catch a lot of pike when you're bass fishing. They're pretty aggressive little guys. Uh, that's a fat one. On that? Yeah, probably would get my bait back that way. <laughs> there we go. That way it doesn't hurt him. And we can get him back in the water. Plus, I get my bait back. <laughs> like to net him if I can. Pretty one. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, he hit it and came right at me. Threw that swim bait at him. Pretty fish. Get him back. There he yeah, goes. They all have that olive green to them, it seems like. Yeah, it's just uh, a lot of times this colder weather. Make sure he didn't nick it. I don't think he did. I had him right in a snoot. Uh, no, I think he's all right. That's the only trouble with these Sibyls. They, uh, they foul themselves when you start casting them and, and swimming them back, you know? Jerking them, letting them fall. Yeah. They hook themselves where they're. I think they were designed more vertical, but boy, they they work good when they don't hang up. So with that blade bait, is that basically just fluttering? It's just fluttering and dropping. Yep. Yeah. Look, north, look chasing yours. There's a northern, but you can feel it vibrating. How, you know. Yeah. But you don't want to let it fall into the moss either all the way to the bottom. They'll usually have it on the fall. You'll come back like this and it'll all, all of a sudden you'll you'll have a fish. And how close to the bottom are you working it to keep it? I mean, are you... I'm keeping it within a foot of the bottom probably. You know, you just have to judge your depth and that tells you how high to bring your rod tip and how fast you need to retrieve it. Like here, it's... Look yeah, that moves a lot. With that blade bait, do you find that it throws better on a bait caster or spinning? Like right now, you're using the spinning rod. It casts better on a spinning, of course. Yeah. Because it's a little bit lighter. It's not a big, heavy one. I mean, it's heavier than, you know, I mean, this is a quarter ounce, but still. Does it fall pretty fast? It falls real fast, yes. That's why you see me start working it almost right away in this eight feet of water here. It's like the carp are already trying to spawn. Man, it seems early for that. Yeah, it seems like it is, doesn't it? The water, they go by water temp, though, a lot, I think. Like all fish, you know, and that water temperature hits a certain point, and they're ready. They do just get up and do their thing. Yeah, those are buffalo. See them down here? Yeah, I just had Great one. big ones. I had a big one come across the back of the boat. They yeah. are curious. They don't care. No, they're uh, usually ahead of the carp. You know, the carp will, will do their thing, but it'll be a little, usually a little bit later. Usually it's early as the buffalo. I know the bow hunters like the like those big buffaloes because they're bet. big. I think it's an easy target for them. <laughs> I bet they're hard to stick, though. They might be. If they're deeper, I'm sure they are. What time is it getting to be now? It's nine. I think we're going to head to Wabisa. I'm all right with that. But that'll be a video for another time. You help Fishing Roots grow by giving this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and engage notifications for future Fishing Roots content. I recommend you start with this video or check out this playlist while you're here. More from Fish and Roots soon.